the more experienced fighter in there, he can punch himself. He's got more than Recito Hesta. He was facing a big, big shot by Rodriguez. <laughs> and now Rodriguez again connecting. And he's doing a great job. Ooh, and that, was that a oh, little wow. blow? Face. He, he's feeling like an old 31. Oh, he just said he's done. Sa mundo ng boxing, kapatid ang turingan ng mga magkakababayan. Kapag natalo ang isa, handang ipagtanggol ni Kabayan para makabawi kung mapigyan ng pagkakataon. March 21, 2019, hinarap ni Mercito Hesta si Juan Antonio Rodriguez. Marami ang nagsasabi na ilalampaso lamang ng Pinoy ang Mehikano. Ngunit, batikan din pala ang kalaban at nahirapan ng ating kababayan. Catching a little bit, again, not super clean. Hesta uh, on in round four of ten and a big left by Rodriguez. More from the jab. Big left for Rodriguez. That would be the start of something. That is a junior. A Miami zone, Glenn Johnson. Yep, yep, exactly. And, uh, a guy who threw five rounds, but each round around feels very close to exactly. well. At the end of the last round, looking he's looking up. up. Yeah. He's looking at the screen. You know. Pagsapit sa ninth round, tinamaan ng malalakas na suntok si Mercito Hesta dahilan para ihinto ng referee ang laban. I, I, I like watching him slip. Oh, oh, he got caught! Yeah. He Ten now seconds. loses! Referee Tommy Hesta, he stopped the fight! Agad na tinamayan ng ama ang kanyang anak kasama na si Coach Freddy Roach. Bilang pagmamalaki, hinalikan ni Rodriguez ang kanyang kaliwang braso na pahiwatig sa nabing wit na malaking isda sa lightweight division. Bagay na umagaw sa atensyon ni Romero Duno. I need to uh, prepare for that fight because uh, Rodriguez is a uh, tough fight as well. Sadyang ibinigay ng taghana ang pagkakataon kay Duno dahil wala pang dalawang buwan matapos ang panalo ni Rodriguez kay Hesta. Makakaharap naman ni Duno ang Mexicano para sa bakanteng WBO-NABO lightweight title. Agad na bumanat ang Mexicano nang sabihing pwedeng matapos ang laban anumang round at siguradong may babagsak sa laban. Mapagkumbaba naman na binanggit ni Duno na kaibigan niya si Hesta at mag-iensayo daw siyang mabuti para maiwagayway ang watawat ng bansang Pilipinas. Mainit ang naging bakbakan ng dalawa na ang intensyon ay tapusin ang isa't isa. Nahirapan nga ang ating kababayan at muntik-muntikan pang matumba. Abot kamay na nga ni Rodriguez ang WBO and ABO title. Rodriguez really started to put it on body and head. Pero comeback is real nang pabagsakin ni Duno si Rodriguez. Patikim lang yan mga idol sa mainit na aksyon dahil narito ang full fight highlights ng laban. Versus Mexico rivalry so hot is that there's obviously you have Manny Pacquiao and even going all the way back to the 20s and 30s we're all action. Oh, let's bring in Beto. His managers didn't feel like he should take this fight. That's exactly right. He said, quote. And yeah, I was about to say, they're exchanging heavy leather. Uh, you know, and I, I, I. You know, this training camp, Duno started in the Philippines. Man, Pacquiao was forged. Born, that's right. That's motivation. You know, we saw a little focus now, because I understand my singular focus and do a schedule for 10 here in our main event in oh! Indio. Watching us around the world. Duno, big. Said he Recito Hesta. Right, Beto, you got something else for it? It's going to be shown on national TV around the entire country. Oh, this fight was nationally televised. Did great ratings. I can't even imagine. Uh, Rodriguez takes a body, really missing big with a lot of his shots. Yeah, he's getting a little bit wild with his jab. Boy, Duno is just unloaded. Boy, he is not holding back. Look at back. Thursday night fights. Golden Bull. You can see some redness around his eyes. Wow. 
really be opening himself up to getting clipped with a power shot by a fluke. Recito Hesta, he was facing oh! a big shot by Rodriguez. Really good shot on Duno. Duno went. Oh, Duno is taking some big time shots here in this third round. Let's see what happened to Hesta and say, listen, this is going to be a fight. So, I tell you what, you just described torture to her at 130 pounds. He traveled to Panama. Travel will fight. All right, let's take a look after that big right hand. Atlantic eye catching shots, but really the more consistent fighter offensively. Rodriguez is the busier of the two, and he's landing a lot. Better be ready to fight a hard oh, two rounds. And boom! Oh, my goodness. And he has blood just streaming down. They were throwing big time. That was, I think it benefits the veteran. I think it benefits Rodriguez. He's, if that cut becomes a factor, who knows? Big if left that, hand. Yeah, if, and Rodriguez straight left. Then, all right, here we go. Home away from home. Just two hours straight east. Dialed in. He was working his jab, aiming punches to the mid set. Boy, with every round that passes, Rodriguez good. Oh, Rodriguez is holding up. I think Rodriguez is better with the combinations with Duno. Not getting wild, he's keeping his hands up. We saw what you call a battle of attrition. Rodriguez is so they hit you in the chin. Not exactly the same kind of fight. Set it, letting his hands go here and there. I'd be telling Duno to get his jab going and to come forward to fight. Just a little bit, but his mentality is out of a punch. February 9th, three months ago, down in the Philippines. One right now. He was... I mean, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> it would be. And now Rodriguez. Wisely going to the body. I think that's one of the things that Duno needs to do. Rodriguez. Said, I one of us. You know what? He's he's got heavy hands. He's got a rock solid press. But are you surprised that Rodriguez has been wear his guys down? He doesn't have one punch knockout power. Um, I am a little head down and diving in, hoping. I would say starting with round three. When uh, Rodriguez they, really uh, is an off night. You don't look impressive. You start to switch to the Mexican fighter. The male anatomy, so you never know. Oh wow, they're taking. What do you think? I don't know, I just think he's dead. I agree with you. So far, wow, you can hear the mitts. It feels like to me, right now, Rodriguez. All right, we'll see what Duno does. Plenty of res Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino. A beautiful yeah, 10 round war that could have gone either way. And we're going to. And that's why he's winning these rounds on my scorecard. The man with the momentum right now. The man with the mojo is Mozo. Two last names. So Mozo is his other last name. It's Rodriguez Mozo. And he's doing a great job. Ooh, and now he's got to get up. And Rodriguez. got to suck it up. And there's another borderline shot. Dude, I think has got to be. <laughs> what a what left hand from Rodriguez. And, uh, referee Raul Caiz Sr. made it very clear. Hey, I'm yeah, check the eye. Rodriguez will continue. Caballero's done a good job controlling the flow of blood. Oh, good shot. Round. Oh, Duno. Uh, his warrior's heart, his spirit, his character. It's any time, and he did it with the body shot. And now he's in there swinging a face. He, he's feeling like an old 31. Oh, they're he just it. He's done. Because of the accidental headbutt, they're going to go to the scorecards. Oh. For your winner by split decision, Romero! Dude!